Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Hmm, so, my anime are people. Fairy tale. I was not expecting to bring this back, but I've been watching it and keeping up with it and absolutely enjoying it. So, I thought I'd just bring it back. Get to enjoy myself some fairy tale talk, seeing how I haven't talked to you about it in a long time. We're talking like eight episodes or plus, maybe almost that I stopped. So, um, I could talk about all those episodes and tell you what I feel about all the stuff that's happened up to this point, but it's okay. Um, I'll just fill in the blanks if there are, if need be. But with this week's episode, we get to see. That Urza might truly and always will be the strongest fairy tale member of all times. Uh, not only does she show this in this week's episode with how little power she has, and uh, prior to this fight even happening, she straight up tanked or stopped a punch from Grey and Natsu, who are both in berserker rage, pretty much trying to take out each other. So, not only does she does this and, like, straight up injure her hands and stuff. I mean, Wendy comes and heals her, but that's still a lot of energy she's expended uh, just to stop them. And then not only that, uh, she then gets absolutely destroyed in, in part of the fight before uh, her mother even turns into a dragon, the Queen of Dragons. And she still destroys a meteor and comes back down and cuts the dragon, which <clears throat> she would not have been able to cut through her unless Wendy was there. So that was that was cool that they actually gave, you know, Wendy a good in game part of this because at the start of all of this, this girl this woman took over Wendy's body and practically threatened to live in it for the rest of her days, you know, so, not to mention, uh, the whole dragon seed thing that was inside of, uh, Urza's mother, or Irene, or whatever, um, it pretty much was a guaranteed that she then could have dragon slayer magic, but never have to worry about the curse of the dragon seed, and that was really her, you know, like, her big, thing that she just hated about her overall life and stuff that she started looking like a dragon she started uh being treated as a monster and stuff like this so it's clear to me that she would have been living quite happily to be in that body of wendy's and you know enjoyed her life but this is a woman who pretty much was saying that her daughter was absolute rubbish because she couldn't use her um She's like, I tried to get my body and soul into your body, but somehow, some way, I couldn't do it. Like, I couldn't enchant myself into you. She made it sound like she tried and failed, you know? So, we're like, oh, wow, this girl, this woman is twisted. And we finally see that what really happened is because Urza was smiling even as a baby when, like, 400 years of being held back or something ridiculous of her being in there because uh, the mother did not want Urza born at any time when she was in prison, at any time when she didn't know uh, if she was safe and stuff like that. So she is probably mother of the year at that point. And then once she finds out that there's a human inside of her human body, she's like, oh my God, I can be myself again, you know? And then she loses that mother of the year privileges. So... It sucks, but at the same time, it's really honest to how some people uh, would probably be dealing with so much sorrow and so much, you know, torture, uh, humiliation, all these different things that they were doing to her. It kind of showed when she crushed her own husband as a dragon and probably enjoyed it, you know, like they didn't show her enjoying it, but. It also didn't show her mourning over it, you know what I mean? Like, he was the star cause of why she was in prison. So, I'm pretty sure he, she was pretty happy to at least get some revenge on that scum. So, 
Urza's dad was trash. Urza's mom wasn't always trash. She just became it after being tortured so much by the father. So she's in a really weird predicament and ends up going ham, attacking a meteor with one broken arm, which then that arm is like magically fixed. Um, the bad thing about fairy tale right now is all of the all of the brutal like fights and all the brutal like stabbing and stuff like that. You're like, oh man, they did that. She just got stabbed. Wow, that's that's gonna be there forever. That's gonna leave a scar. And then the next scene, there's no. It's like a scratch wound. It's like, uh, it's like she fell down and scraped herself. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like. If you can't go that far in the case of killing off characters, in the case of keeping blood... I mean, we saw the Katana girl straight up in a puddle of her own blood. And then, next thing you know, she's completely fine. Standing up, cheerful, and still helping in parts show the battle without any blood showing. Um, even the case, like some shows where... You know, some people are completely just swimming in it, and other people's run up on them, and they're trying to, like, console them and hold them and stuff, and they get zero drops of blood on them, you know? So, there's really weird instances like that in anime, and this show really can't show any of it. I'm thinking that's because that's the creator's uh, call to do it like this, so, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a, you know, one of the people at the studio or whatever, but... If I have a show where he's telling me the animation is of this person getting, you know, poked like a freaking stuffed pig, and then after being poked, uh, he, my next scene of them is them completely fine and, you know, acting like they never got attacked in the first place, seems kind of off, you know, including for it happening in every battle, uh, I mean, and not only that, every battle that someone practically gets taken out and people start crying, it just comes back to fruition that, oh, yeah, never mind, we're, we're okay, don't worry about it, why are you crying? I'm fine, I'm right here, like, don't worry about it, forget about it. So that, it feels really lackluster when you're putting all these characters, like, for instance, Makarov is probably the only real character that is supposedly dead right now, I mean... And hasn't had any instance of them being like, and then he came back, you know, like Juvia came back, Natsu thought Lucy was dead, and the only person who's truly suffering and thinks someone has passed away is Urza. Urza's the only one right now who has lost, uh, Makarov was there when Makarov was, you know, lost. And, you know, Grey got to see that Juvia's okay, and Natsu got to see that Lucy's okay. Uh, but Urza... <laughs> Urza, she's still fighting as if she lost everything and has to be the new guild master. So, it kind of they kind of showing that type of tenacity that she has. She hasn't stopped fighting since that's happened. You know, unlike Natsu Gray, who started fighting each other, gets stopped by Urza, and then sent out because they pretty much both faint like idiots. Like you know, after wasting all that energy, and then Urza's left to fight by herself, and she literally runs into her mother. The one who is probably one of the most strongest people we've seen in fairy tale, and the only way she lost was because she took herself out. Like, that's a really, really OP character. Um, Urza did everything in her power to pretty much put her down and actually finish the fight, and she couldn't, no matter what she did, even with the help of Wendy's Dragon Slayer. Powers still wasn't enough, so it kind of gives you the feeling of what they're going for uh, when it came down to her, that character, just like how ridiculously powerful she was and how much endurance she had. Um, it was all, it was all for a reason, and that reason was just to show that even with all the try we did, we still wouldn't have been able to beat her, um, which is which is good. Uh, a good way to showcase her because even Zeref and the strongest male uh, wizard are, you know, like not pet like terrified of her. Like I can't even walk up to this girl; she'll kill me. But they have so much respect for her power that it's it, that this way that the story shows it and that the 
overall end game of how it finally finishes is a good representation of how powerful she is. She's so powerful, she had to take herself out because she knew she was going to have to continue to fight her daughter and she couldn't kill her. So why fight something that you know you aren't going to be able to do at the end of the day and just accept it? And yeah, so, I mean, she had to take herself out. But she definitely didn't want to live anymore after 400 years of torture and then you come back to then try to kill the same daughter that you spared, you know, and she obviously doesn't even see you as her mother because she has the guild and stuff like that. So it's very powerful. Fairy tale is definitely um, they should stay. They should just stay away from anybody taking like every fairy tale member should just pretty much win the fight without taking damage like all of this. Oh my god, I can't live without you and getting all these memories and stuff are really just ways of keeping the show from literally burning through all of the content instantly. Because if they didn't do that stuff, we would already have been on this part of the fight quite a bit ago. And it would have ended probably very lackluster if Urza took zero damage and then bodies her mom. You know what I mean? So it it's one of these things that yes it's an it's a show so you should make the characters struggle they should have to work hard for what they earn but at the end of the day all of the scars and all of the attacks that they're taking are much more stronger than any attacks they've ever been taking previously and that's been proven you know they have characters here that are you know old school characters that don't hold a candle to the present day power and then we got people at that new power slapping around our characters and they're just completely fine so it's really weird to say that the show is good in some cases and bad in some other cases but that's fairy tale at this point and either hate it or love it but it's here to stay until it's done so with all that being said i hope you guys have an awesome day night evening whatever the case may be i'm your boy the anime g and i definitely hope to see you guys when i drop more content because a lot of animes are over, and it looks like we're going to be needing some replacements very soon. So hopefully we can see what those replacements are relatively quickly. So with all that being said, peace.